Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, fortunately, our temperatures are seasonable, meaning upper 70s to low 80s. Pretty nice day, bright, breezy, and dry. The wind a little busy, but at least the humidity levels have been dropping off, so it's not as muggy. Sunshine, fair weather clouds in downtown Providence. A beautiful late afternoon and early evening. We're at 82 right now. Remember how high the humidity was yesterday? Much lower. Southwest breeze, though, has been very active now at 24 miles per hour. It's created some uh, choppy waves offshore, and the net result, some high surf at area beaches. The high surf advisory continues until 8 o'clock this evening. You can see the deck of clouds that we had earlier this morning and even some early morning showers has shifted offshore. Additional showers to our north and west will not play a factor in our forecast this evening and overnight, so we'll keep things quiet. The dew point number has come down. It was 70 yesterday. It's down to 58 right now. Indication of the atmosphere uh, drying out, so feeling more comfortable. Getting real close. Take a look at future casts. I'm going to start things off uh, this evening at 7 o'clock. Looking pretty good. Still breezy, but clear and dry. 7 o'clock temperatures will be in the mid to upper 70s and no weather problems overnight. Just watch the time bar right up in here. 7 o'clock in the morning, waking up to sunshine. Uh, temperature at around 70. And then during the afternoon hours, we'll turn partly sunny. And then by mid to late afternoon, you see really a lot on the weather map. Uh, little blips of green indicating a couple of isolated showers, but also in between these showers are splashes of sunshine. So these are quick, they're passing, they're brief, and I certainly wouldn't cancel uh, any outdoor activities. These are more of an interruption than anything else, but we're thinking between roughly uh, 3 and 5 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow for an isolated shower uh, to be coming through. In fact, this is the kind of setup where you get rainbows because you get a shower on one side of the sky and sunshine on the other, so we'll see if that happens. But overall, we're not talking about any kind of a rain afternoon or a washout, just a passing shower. 7 o'clock in the evening, sunshine returns, looking at a temperature at 76, and then tomorrow night, Wednesday night at 9 o'clock, we are clear and dry and 71. So for tomorrow morning, it's a mostly sunny start at 71. Real nice uh, dry conditions and low humidity. And then during the afternoon, a blend of clouds and sunshine. Temperatures much like today, reaching the upper 70s to lower 80s. And between roughly uh, 3 and 5 o'clock in the evening or the afternoon, just an isolated passing shower wouldn't last very long. Tropics are getting active. This is the Gulf of Mexico and Florida, a poorly organized but tropical storm nonetheless. Uh, uh, Cindy, latest from the National Hurricane Center, has it with winds of uh, 45 miles per hour. Not anticipated to get too strong, but the problem is this storm will be a, a, a huge rainmaker for the Gulf Coast as it makes landfall later in the uh, week as a weak tropical storm with winds no higher than 45, 50 miles per hour, but producing a tremendous amount of rain across the south over the next several days. Seven-day future cast, so we'll keep things dry tomorrow morning. Quick shower in the afternoon. Beautiful on Thursday. The showers on Friday are not so much during the day. I'm thinking Friday evening, Friday night. So Friday day looking okay. And early morning showers Saturday, though the trend will be for clearing Saturday afternoon. Some sunshine on Sunday. And notice temperatures over the weekend on the mark where we should be for this time of year around 80. You can download the Channel 12 weather app on your smartphones and on your tablets as well. Overall, tomorrow, not too bad. Just a little shower in the afternoon. I know surfers are loving it. What's going on in Arkansas <laughs> Down Beach? Yeah, some big waves right now. All right. Thanks, Tony. <laughs>